from Vermont. Uh, thank you very much. I want to address two of the criticisms of the efforts that we are making. Uh, one is that it's not a long-term solution. And my response to that is, no kidding. We have a short-term problem. We have a tool that can provide short-term relief. And there's a certain irony. Uh, and many of the members of Congress who are making the argument that this is not a long-term problem because they've made a career out of opposing a long-term solution. Mm -hmm. And the effect of that defense is basically to pass on the cost of congressional inaction onto citizens, plumbers, uh, commuters going to and from work, small businesses, to pass on the cost of congressional inaction onto the people we represent. They have no control over whether Congress does or does not come up with the long-term solution that we know America needs. So it is the height of irresponsibility, in my view, to piously talk about a long-term solution, even as you resist it, and then to step back and impose the cost of inaction on hardworking American citizens and businesses. Second, another criticism is that we're interfering in the market. Well, first of all, on a practical level, this is a tool that belongs to the American people. And it's been used by presidents to provide some short-term relief. Two Republican presidents, both President Bush's, President Clinton. And it had significant impact when it was deployed in the past by these presidents. In the case of the first President Bush, prices went down 33%. Prices went down 19% uh, when uh, President Clinton did it. In, uh, 9% when President Bush did it after uh, Katrina. Now, why is that? It's because the market is not totally free and competitive. It's actually influenced immensely by speculators who are not the users of petroleum, who are not the refiners of petroleum, but who are the hedge fund uh, operators who see an opportunity to take advantage of spikes in the price. And that is not serving the interest of the American economy. When we are asking people to reach in their pocket and they're spending $41 billion a month on energy, that has a significant uh, uh, negative effect on family budgets and on the economy. So the question for Congress is really a practical one in the moment. Is there a tool available to us to provide some short-term economic relief to American families? And if the answer to that is yes, what's the harm in using it? That's our position, and we believe this is absolutely essential so that we can send a clear message to the speculators that they can get whacked if they keep playing uh, economic games with the American economy. And that